trust me for what? My dad was a tenant. <laughs> we got body cameras on. You scream all you want to. We got body cameras on. No criminal ever wants to get caught by the police, but when the cops catch up to them, they try to think of ingenious ways to get out of the situation. Well, some of them are ingenious, others are hilarious, and then there are those who are just plain dumb. Today we explore several cases where the suspects try to get away with their crimes. Let's see how it works out for them. Excuse me, miss. Miss, you're not free to leave. Okay, no you're not. Come here. All right. This incident took place on January 8th, 2023 at a Texas airport. Is it me or does it seem like a lot of these things happen in airports? Anyway, the woman you just saw hurrying into the bathroom was 30-year-old Corinna. She was kicked off the airplane for disorderly behavior. To be specific, she cursed, yelled, and even spat at the airport staff. Knowing that the cops are after her, she makes a last-ditch effort and enters the comfort room, putting the officers in an awkward position. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm just checking on you. What's going on? I don't like I'm being harassed. I'm not like I'm very Okay, well, I need a cops to come right now. Okay, I'm a police officer. I'm here to check on you. Thank you. I need a cops to come right now. Okay, open the stall. Let me, let me. I'm not comfortable to do that in a second. Okay, well, I can talk to you through the stall. What's going on? I have no idea. Like, they, like, I have no idea. Everyone in the said they were fine with me. Uh huh. They were, like, making an issue. I was like, it's gonna delay your flight. I'm not gonna delay your flight. Are you I'm trying to go home or on vacation? No, I'm going to work. What do you mean? Okay, do you want to come out here and I can help you out? What airline? Oh, I, don't really, I don't feel sincere in your voice that you're going to help me out. I'm here to help you. What airline are you flying with? Notice that the officers tried to calm the suspect down and give her a sense of security so that she cooperates. But that's easier said than done. Corinna's trying to play the victim here, and the officer pretends like she doesn't know the airline she's flying with, even though they've been briefed about the whole situation. The reason she engages in this cat and mouse game is to avoid the need to break through the stall door in order to extract her. She's trying to get Corinna to come out freely. I'm gonna stand right here. I'm not even gonna come in. I'm not even gonna come in. You're gonna arrest me for what? Who said I was gonna arrest you? What do you mean, Mr. Bagasso? Lieutenant, where? Does it matter? He's a lieutenant in Rhode Island. Okay. The fact that you're saying that, like, I know what's going on and, it, and it's unreasonable. Well, can you it's open the, the can you open the stall? I'm not going to come in. I'm just going to stand right you're here. Actually, like I'm going to point people hostage. Like, it's just it's insane. No. No, I don't feel safe. I just want to know I'm from here. Yeah. Can I use that your phone? Because I don't feel safe. Yeah. Honestly, can you I, open I, the door? No, no, no. I want to call. I hear you. We are 911. Yeah. No, no, you're restricting me from 911 access because I want to say. We are 911. No, no, you're restricting me from 911 access. That's a felony. Entitled Behavior 101. Corinna's playing the victim and acting like she doesn't know why she's being questioned. She keeps repeating that she doesn't feel safe and that her rights are being violated. Yet not for a moment does she acknowledge what she's being told. It also might be the alcohol speaking, but she's undoubtedly a spoiled daddy's girl. She might be stubborn, but this cop is smart. So did you have anything to drink to? Oh, honestly, this is inconveniencing my plans. It's not what airline is this. This is Frontier. I'm not Frontier. So did you have anything to drink today? Is that why they would not want you on the plane? No, they even said the whole plane said that they were fine with me being there. No, I'm asking you. Did you have anything to drink? I'm playing. They just said they were fine. No, I'm asking you. Yes or no? Did you have anything to drink? I'm not answering any of your questions, bro. Okay. Cool. The plane just said they were fine with being there, but they want I I respect. Did you have anything to eat today? Excuse me, can I can I talk to you about something? Yeah. Woman and woman? Yeah. I'm letting you know. Yeah. This is nonsense. Like it really is. I agree. Yeah. Wait, I'm we're talking, talking about, to you. Oh. Okay, we're going, we're, yeah, yeah. We're going to go to this. Yeah. Well, do you want to go see if you can get on the plane? Because it's still there. I don't I'm not on the plane. I'm not gonna f up their whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I'm but if you if you go over there civilized, maybe you can I get swear to God be the most advised person you ever Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Am I going to talk with you? Thank you. We're going to be here with you the whole time. That's yeah. fine. This is all we want for you to come out. I swear to God. Do you have your boarding pass? Yes, ma'am. Where's your ID? Do you have your ID? Am I? Yes. Get it out for me. I'm going to go to the front here for you. And you swear you didn't have anything to drink today? You're fine. Yes, it's fine. You did not have anything to drink today? 
am, I am not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you're safe to fly. But there has to be a reason for them to keep you off the plane. So just be honest. This was masterfully played by the female officer. She got the suspect to come outside of her own free will. And now, when they're away from the stalls, she confronts her with the truth. But Corinna's still playing hard to get. So, did you have a thing to drink today? Is that against the law? No, that's what I'm asking. Lawyer? No. I'm going to call a lawyer. For what? Before I ask, answer any more questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Before I answer any more questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Have you eaten today? That's my lawyer, about yeah, it. Okay. Uh, you haven't had anything to eat today? That's my lawyer. You take medication? That's my lawyer. So the cat and mouse game continues. But you've all seen the black gloves come out, and you already know where this is headed. Okay, Miss Karina. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to. Okay. Yeah, I'm arrested? Yes, you're going to be arrested for public intoxication, okay? Take your backpack off. Yep, and the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a Take disturbance. I'm not doing any of that. Wait, 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 no, I want to witness. Take your backpack off. Okay, your it's all being recorded. Yeah. Just take your backpack yeah. off, okay? Are you serious? Take your backpack off. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, will you will I'll you call my dad. I'll call my dad. I'll call my dad. Yeah, no, calm down. Call your backpack off. Calm down. He's the lieutenant. Calm down. No. 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 No, I, I was not kicking and screaming anywhere on that plane. No, okay. pull up the finish. No, okay. that's Serena. No. Just calm down. No. Okay. Shoot me then. We're not going to no. We're not going to run. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I'm scared of that. And this is where the fear kicks in. Corinna insists that the officers call her father, but she fails to recognize that he has no authority here. She refuses to take her backpack off, which is actually resisting arrest, and it only exacerbates the issue. But it's about to get even worse when she starts complaining about the male officer. I don't, I really don't feel comfortable I'm with him touching me. I'm standing, I'm standing right here. No, I, no, I don't want him touching me. I literally, he's on a power play move. I don't want him touching me. I literally don't want him touching me. I'm asking you not to let him touch me. I don't want, I ask me, I don't want you touching me. I don't want him touching me. Do I don't want him touching me. I said I don't want him touching me. I don't feel comfortable with him. Corinna is a prime example of people who were never told no in their entire lives. It seems she can't grasp the concept that no one cares what she wants or doesn't want. If she hadn't gotten drunk and caused a circus on the airplane, she wouldn't even be in this situation. But she is, and there's nothing she can do about it. But she'll try her best as she continues to argue and curse at the cops. Hey, Karina. You promised me again. We'll let you stand back up. You want to stand up? You to say that you're not going to kick my officers, okay? Yes, Daddy. I promise, Daddy. I'll be a good girl. Okay, so this is what this is what officers try to tell girls to do. Yes, Daddy. I'll be a good girl. Yes, Daddy. No. Oh. No. This is what he's doing. This is what he's doing essentially. Well, I didn't want to mention daddy issues, but she showed it herself. We all have issues from our childhood that cause us distress, but not all of us get drunk and take it out on the cops. At least now, she's calm and not combative, and doing so in a calm and orderly fashion. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't want to touch you. Come on. Come on. Come on. I said I don't want to touch What don't you understand? What don't you I don't understand? Want to do not kick the officer. Do not kick an officer. Okay, so I have female officers that squirt me like ass. That's the second time Corinna has assaulted a cop. It's like she wants to make this harder on everyone, including herself. She's probably desperate to get attention from her absent father, just like a spoiled bratty kid craving for attention. But at the same time, she feels the law doesn't apply to her. Wait, no, give me that phone. Uh-uh, you'll get your phone when you get there. You'll no, get no, no, give me that phone. You'll get your phone no. when you get there. I guess I'm going to hold, hold Step it. Step into so. the car. No. Do not. Call my dad. Oh, my get Step in the into car. the car. No, I'm not going to hold it. Get in the car. No. You have to pull her legs. Yeah. No, call my lawyer. Call my lawyer first. Karina, step your... <laughs> well, there's no daddy to the rescue this time, at least not for now. Now it's time for Corinna to go to jail. 
Hopefully, this experience will make her rethink her behavior, although I highly doubt it. All right, Karina, so we're gonna come in here, okay? No. Yeah, you're gonna get out the car for me so we can search you inside. And then you'll be able to call your father, all right? Obviously, like, he's already here. He already has my GPS. That's not, he's in the FBI, not the police department. Okay. Anyway, so that's besides the point. So yeah, so you really want that to happen? Ooh, so daddy isn't just a police officer. He's now an FBI agent who keeps track of his daughter's whereabouts using GPS. And now her mood keeps shifting from crying to angry. Just let go, then it's gonna be okay. Come on. <laughs> Okay, come on. That's a cop. That's different. Like, this. Oh. So it's going to say, like, this is not going to say, like, this. Let me see your right here. What's on there? Kareem. This is not going to say, like, this. What's my charge? Kareem. It's not going to go anywhere. That's my charge. I asked what my charge is. I have the right to know my charge. Public intoxication? No. Yes. I disagree. Come on. No, Rena. Assault police officer. Stop. Yes, Daddy. Well, what do you think that's gonna do? Stop, no. Like, really? Come on, seriously? Yeah, so we're kind of okay? Okay. Okay, give me that pass. Give me that okay. pass. It's okay. Give me you know what's gonna be on your no, it's not. This is not. I've been doing hey, procedures. This is not a procedure. Just put the finger right there. It's not. This is not doing it. No. Just put. Your finger. Actually, I'm not doing it. Just put your finger there. No. It's okay. I mean, there's I'm cameras not. everywhere, so I mean, you're I'm safe. I know my GPS is here. I'm not safe with you. I don't want you touching me. I really want your hands off of me. Actually, I really want to punch you in the face. You're gonna help okay. Me. And you're gonna hit me after that. No, nobody's gonna shoot you, Corinna. They're just gonna charge you with resisting arrest with violence, assault on a public servant, and public intoxication. What do you think her daddy told her when he came to pick her up? Let's step away from airports and bratty kids for a moment and head over to what started as an ordinary traffic stop. A police officer noticed a broken tail light and decided to pull the vehicle over. But then the driver started acting very strange. Hey, excuse me. Come here. How you doing? Hey, I'm off start. It's only police department. Hey, uh, the insurance is unconfirmed on uh recently stopped. You got a brake light out, man. Sorry, I was having a hard time catching you. Who had a what? You got a brake light out. Hey, come here. Yes. Mr. Mom or? Hi, how are you doing? Is this your car? Okay. Hey, I just saw y'all go by. I saw a brake light out, okay? Okay. Uh, Three to the stop, all right? Okay. I'm not trying to like just get you in your driveway. It's just kind of where we ended up, you know. I was trying to catch up, so turn around. Okay. Well, show. hey, man, because it's traffic stop, I need your driver's license, okay? Uh, I got to give me some water. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Hey, hey. Hey, you can't leave, man. Okay. Thank you. Hey, man. Thank you, Mister. Hey, right now it's okay. traffic stop. You can't leave. All right. Okay. I, I wouldn't know how it stopped. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's what I just told you, okay? On. You have, you have your... Uh, hey. This is my car. Okay, okay, hey. Hand. But you were driving. Do you have your driver's license? I don't have anything on me. Dude, we just going okay. to the store. That's what she was doing. Okay. Well, hey, what? I need your name, all right? I'm deaf. I can't freaking hear. What is that? Okay. Man? I can't hear nothing. He's okay. Saying. Well, hey, he, he was driving, so I need his driver's license, but he said he doesn't have one on him. Well, that's an interesting tactic. The driver could hear him just perfectly a moment ago, but now he's deaf all of a sudden. Well, at least it's original, but on the other hand, it's bound to raise suspicion and make the cop dig even deeper. And just as I was thinking that, the driver said something else. I was asking this man, this man Eric Carter said, we want you folks to help us paint or whatever. Okay. What, what, what's your name? Hey. Number one, Fox West Marshall. You all right? Yes. Uh, that's why we got a male leg on the street. Okay. I, I have been, this is what's been going on. I'm okay. trying to go hey, to the store what, to get your name? Oh. Okay. Anybody else in the car? Just a dog. A dog? Okay. Ooh. And this is your car? Yeah. Okay. Why'd y'all pull in here? 
So you're help, helping him paint? No, he's supposed to be painting. He's supposed to be painting. Oh, shit. Can I <laughs> nah, dude. You gotta hold on. Alright, here's, here's his back. Bye bye. Bye well, we all like a good poop joke, but this guy seems to be really enjoying it. The question is, is he faking it? Why would someone fake diarrhea? Who knows? Maybe he just wants to go to the bathroom and dispose of something suspicious. Or maybe he thinks the cop will let him go faster. The officer tries to keep him still, but the suspect keeps hopping around, pretending he's about to poop himself. Have you ever had a driver's license in the state of Texas? No. Are you from Texas? No. Where are you from? I'm from Oklahoma. Do you have an Oklahoma driver's license or ID I card? I have an Oklahoma ID. Go ahead. Oh, all right, man. Hey, dude. I need you to chill out, okay? I get it, but I need you to just hang out right here, okay? Yes, sir. All right, you stay right here for if me, all right? let me, oh. Nah, man, you gotta stay right here. Yo, pie. Anybody pie. Hey, when we're done, when we're done, stay right here. I'm about to poop. Hey, man. Come over here. Yes, sir. Hey, I said stand over here, all right? Yes, sir. All right. Have you ever been, pull have you ever been, have you ever been pulled over before? Huh? Have you ever been pulled over before? No. All right, when you get pulled over, you're detained, you can't go anywhere. Who? Period. When you get pulled over, you cannot go anywhere. Okay. All right, which so means you need to stand right here, and you need to be still. Yeah, I'm about to pot. I'm... If this was on TV, it would be pure comedy genius. I can already see Chris Tucker in the role of the suspect. But what would you do if you were the officer? You have a sneaking suspicion that he's hiding something. He appears to be in distress, but he might just be faking it, so you really can't let him go. While you're waiting for the suspect to find the insurance for the car, he does this. Oh. Hey, dude. Dude, no. I'm so serious, bro. I'm not trying to. Okay, you find me the insurance. The faster you do that, the faster we can get out of here. Who do you have insurance through? Who has insurance in the car? Hey. One thing keeps crossing my mind in this situation. If it was me, I would have probably already pooped myself. So my guess is, this guy is faking it. But the question is, why? Let's see if this cop can get to the bottom of this. Rashawn is my middle name. Rashawn? Rashawn? What is your middle name? Rashawn. Rashawn? Uh-huh. Because he's definitely Okay, he's, hear he's hearing me just fine. Okay. I really cannot okay. hear you in here. Does he have anything with his name on it? In That's the car? Not, I'm telling you, this is my car. It's not mine. Okay. Can I... This is the worst day of my life. For a freaking broken tail light. He said my tail light is out or something. All this for a tail light? Well, it's a lot more than that now because. I don't have a driver's license from you. I'm trying to figure out who you are, and you're acting pretty erratic right now. You need to chill, okay? I'm trying to poop. Okay, well, if you you're, you, you got to wait, poop, all right? I would be very much well, so that ain't going to happen right now. You know what I mean? It's your brother. Okay, here you go. Okay. Can I see it? That's the issue. Okay, let me see it. Who's on it? Who's, who's Quain? Huh? Who's Quain? Who's Quain? Yeah. That's me. That's, that's who's okay. Okay. Hello. Hey, I wouldn't, I wouldn't done with that though. Quain, this is Quain on the phone. Okay, I'm looking at the insurance. I'm Quain, sir. Okay. All right. That looks good. Can't go potty. No. Quain, I still can't potty. No. Get you out and pull your pants up. This officer's in a pickle. The moment he turns around, the suspect starts walking away. He has no idea who he's dealing with, and he has no backup. So just to make sure he's safe, he does this. I can't hear anything you're saying. In front of my car. Very low. Come step in front of my car. In front of my car. Right here, bumper. Do what, brother? Here, stand here. I have told him several times I'm dealing. I cannot hear. Okay, hey, can you hear me? He can hear you. Okay, put your phone down, stand right there. Put your phone on my hood. Put your keys on the hood. Put your keys and stuff on the hood. Why? Put your, do what I'm telling you to do. All right, 
Put your stuff down. All right. Now put your hands on your back. What have I been arrested for? You're being detained. You're not arrested. Why am I being detained? Because you, dude. Hey, just. What am I being no, detained for? Because you're acting erratic, okay? Right? It doesn't act. No, you turn it hey. for nothing, so. I'll Put your hands behind your back. You're going to be arrested. I'm already being arrested. Yeah, no, you're being detained. Detained and arrested are not the same thing, okay? Put it in your hands behind your back. Mister. not. No, it's not making sense. Put your hands behind your back now. I'm not asking. Oh, boy. No. No, it's not cold. So the hunch we had about this guy was right. Suddenly the diarrhea is gone and he bolts for it. And props to this cop for not giving up. The problem was he was in full gear, which caused him to be slower and get tired fast. Stop! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! I don't have to do all that. I'm already arrested. Hands on your back now. Hands on your back. While he was being arrested, Rashan, or Lamar if we want to use his real name, managed to pass out. The officers were concerned that he might have taken drugs and took him to the hospital. There, he was diagnosed with severe dehydration. It seems that Lamar had a warrant out for his arrest for violating his probation, evading arrest, and more. So he had a really good reason to try and pull the diarrhea act. He was of course arrested and charged with resisting arrest, evading arrest, and a miscellaneous felony warrant. At least in jail, he'll be able to poop whenever he needs to. This next clip takes us to Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Back in 2020, police were called about a man making threats. They pulled over a vehicle that the suspect supposedly left in and started talking to Anthony T. Gaines, who matched the description of the assailant. They were notified that he might be carrying a weapon. Gaines tries really hard to explain that he was just trying to charge his phone outside someone's house. So they actually did let you in to charge it? No, it's right there on the outside of the house. Oh, so you left it there? I left right here. I didn't go that far. Okay. I just went like two, two percent. Okay, I, I didn't know you charged on the outside on the porch. Yeah, but I, I, I got know, you now. I'm I tracking. I never went inside their house at all. all right, I never cool. went and invaded their house at all. I would never. Oh, okay, so you left it there. I came back and no, went there. No, I can't. Yeah, right. Right. Long story short. Boom. The cops talked to Gaines for nine minutes. So to make a long story short, the suspect basically said that he was charging his phone on someone's porch, left it there, and they took it. In the meantime, the officers were checking his background and found that he had a warrant for his arrest for aggravated assault with a weapon. Hey, come here real quick. Step out. Step out. Yeah, I actually just said, man, just, hey, yeah. just don't I'm going to detain you right now. Yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not arrested. You're not being under arrest. Yeah, no, no. Just until we find out everything is going on. Um, I didn't want to do it in front of them. Huh? I said I didn't want to do it in front of them. Right. Where's your money at? In your book bag? Yeah. You opened this already? What's up? No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah, you know, you know what it is. Huh? You know what it is when you it was in your pocket, man. This m wanna know. It was in your pocket. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright! When Gaines realized the cops found the meth hidden in the small red jewelry box in his pocket, he decided to bolt. 
I don't know what he was thinking, since he was already in handcuffs. There's no way he could outrun anyone with his hands behind his back. The officers catch up with him quickly, and then he tries another stunt. Matter of fact, a couple of them. <laughs> ah, they killed me! <laughs> we got body cameras on. You scream all you want to. We got body cameras on. And they suck me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Hey. We've seen that before. Here, let's go, let's get up. Yeah. I hold my heart, I got heart surgery, bro. Alright, so you got a few charges now, okay? Yeah, that's alright, we can put it, we can get a. I ain't lying, look at my chest, bro. I see you, you shouldn't have ran. Up, bro. You shouldn't have ran. You can act like you're gonna pass out all you want. I've seen this before. Cut it. I've seen this before. Yeah. Okay. Turn me over, bro. Turn me over. Don't look coming out with me. I think you can run, cuz. Shut up. You got the same thing. Ow! Oh, my head, bro. Damn. Yeah. Ah! Obviously, the suspect's feeble attempt to act like he's fainting is not working, but that doesn't mean he can't try something different. He resists getting in the car, probably trying to stall and think of something else. My guess is, is that he's desperately trying to make the cops do something wrong and get it on video. Okay, please stand Watch out. out. Please Watch stand out so we can help you in the car. No, we can get you far. Get your ass off me. Come on. Ready? Let's get it. I got this one. Ah! 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 Oh, ah! Oh, my head! Okay. Debo! We caught it, Debo! Ah! Debo! You get that thing. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit! Ah! Oh, He won't, he won't get in. No, he pushed his way out. You just stay over there. Mama! Mama! We got body cameras. You ain't got no f***ing body cameras, Hobtail. The officers attempt to get Gaines in the vehicle again, but he just keeps screaming and yelling like a lunatic, and he apparently bit one officer in the leg. At one point, he gets wedged between the front and back seats. This is turning out to be a nightmare for the cops. If the cameras weren't around, I bet this would be going a bit differently. And after all that resisting, Gaines now asks for an ambulance. Call the ambulance, man. We want to get you in the car, okay? Bro. Now keep trying to put me in the ambulance. I got a f***ing pacemaker, Okay. Do you know what a pacemaker is? We're not making it easier. I'm not trying to be... We're not making it easier. Why don't you just sit in the car? We're trying to get you in the car. You don't want to get in. You don't, you don't want to work with us, man. We're trying to help you. Bro, you don't bang my head. We was the first one to bang all my head All you had to, time. all you gotta do the is sit in the car. Right here, choke this shit on me right here. You bang my head and twist my goddamn ankle right there. Listen, he was right there watching. Y'all pull me through this motherfucker, fell hard right here. Y'all see what the fuck happened. Okay, well we have, everybody out here have a body camera on, you know that, right? Everybody out here. Just you just make sure you got yours on. Everybody, everybody's everybody on. Just make sure it's on. It's okay, yes sir. As you might have guessed, this situation goes on and on. By the time the EMS arrives, Gaines' aunt gets there too. But even she can't make him cooperate. Please get some water. Yeah. I need more than one bottle on Thursday. That's not enough. Okay, just drink this. Ashley, get the f away from the scene, bro. Come on, I'm about to ask for that extra shit, bro. Yo, don't be talking to your person with addiction is fire, bro. Don't tell me about the fire. Even though he was obviously faking it, the officers didn't want to take any chances because he had a pacemaker. The ambulance took him to a hospital for a checkup, and then he went straight to jail. 
He was arrested as a fugitive from another state and was charged with third-degree assault of a police officer, second-degree fleeing or evading police, possession of meth, and resisting arrest. As of 2024, Gaines has been charged with two counts of murder, first-degree robbery, and first-degree burglary. He's currently in prison. Hello. Hi. Officer Brave, I'm with Tampa Police Department. The reason why I'm stopping you is you were driving very erratically, okay? Since I've been behind you, you've been weaving back and forth, been changing lanes with no turn signals. You made a very, very wide turn when you turned there off of uh, Platt onto Willow, okay? Okay. I mean, you were all over the place. No, I saw, I'm sorry. Like, she's working early in the morning and I was just trying to get home. Okay, can I see your driver's license, insurance, course, registration? This traffic stop took place on March 5th, 2021, just outside of Dakota. The woman behind the wheel is Paige, and she seems to be intoxicated. Not only is she driving all over the place, but the officer said she was going in circles. I honestly, we recently just moved here. We don't really know the area that well. Okay. We, we live in Brandon, so we're trying to get back to Brandon. I'm smelling an odor of an alcoholic beverage. Okay, you've been drinking tonight. No, sir. Nothing? No, I had, I had one glass of wine. Um, I love child, but that's it. Okay, well, I can smell the odor. That's why I asked that question, okay? Also, your eyes are glassy, and your driving causes me concern. Okay? Can you shut the vehicle off for me, please? Uh, of course. Thank you. If you want mind stepping out of the car for me. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Do me a favor, just uh, step over there. I'm going to turn my front flashing lights off, okay? Yes, because sir. Yes, sir. The cop is setting up his field sobriety test, and I wonder how Paige is going to take it. By the bewildered look she just had on her face, I'm guessing it's not going to go well for her. Let's see. So I'd like to check your eyes, if you don't mind. Yeah. Okay. You wear contacts? I do wear contacts, yes. Do you have contacts in your right I do, now? yes. Right. If you mind, if you put both feet together for yes, me, sir. both arms down by your sides. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be looking, no, don't look at the light. Oh, That's sorry. just so that I can see your eyes, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm not going to shine the light directly at you. It's actually pointing towards okay. your stomach, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're able to see my finger, what mm -hmm. I'd like you to do is just follow my finger with your eyes, but keep your head still. Can you do that yes, for sir. me? Don't yes, move sir. your head at all. Okay. No, you're moving oh, your head. Oh, I'm just sorry. Keep, keep your head still. It's nice to see a suspect cooperating for a change, but the testing is not going well for Paige at all. I have a sneaky suspicion that she might try using her smiles and charm to maybe get out of this situation. But let's wait and see. Right now, it's time for the next test. The officer explains what needs to be done, and even though taking nine steps, turning around, and going back seems simple, there are so many details that it's easy to get confused, especially when you're drunk. Then comes balancing on one leg and counting to 10. Seeing that she fails each test miserably, the inevitable follows. Okay, stop, relax, okay. So I'd like to ask you some questions. Before I do though, I'm gonna advise you of your rights. So I want you to listen carefully, all right? You have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right, anything you say can or will be used as evidence against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney present before and during any question if you wish. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you free of charge before any question. Decide to answer questions now without an attorney present. You may stop answering any time. You may also stop answering any time to speak with an attorney. Do you understand those rights? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you want to answer a few questions? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll answer anything. It's fine. Okay. All right. So, why did you tell me, first of all, that you'd had nothing to drink? Then you told me that you'd had one to drink, and that's clearly not the case. Uh, judging by the nystagmus in your eyes and your performance of the field sobriety exercises, your difficulty balancing, okay? How many have you had? I've had one nine ounce glass and one six ounce, and, and that's it. I believe you've had more than that, okay? This is a really good cop. So far, he's behaved properly and managed to get the suspect to cooperate. Once he was certain she was intoxicated, he asked her to be honest and take responsibility for her actions. If she admits she's drunk, his job is done. We all know it's best for her to keep quiet, but will she? Just no. be honest with me. No, no, so that's it. I'm, I'm 23 years old and... Well, age is irrelevant. Is, it, You're old enough no, to drink. No, no, I know, but, it's, it, but personally, it doesn't take a lot for me to like feel something. Well, but um, 
What do you mean feel something? No, like I'm not. I'm not trying to put myself out there, but yes. Um, if if you think I'm impaired, yes, I I get it. I had a glass and a half to drink, but. Okay, My friend and I both have work tomorrow, so... I think trying. you've had more than that, but the whole time I was behind you, like I said, you were all over the road, okay? Why didn't you call a taxi or an Uber? Or a friend? Um, I'll be honest with you. My friend was with me, and she's with me in the car. Um, she wanted me to drive because she didn't want to call an Uber because of money. Um, so, so I decided to drive. We actually thought about it, calling an Uber, but... We, none of us have the money, so... Well, I'd... that would have probably been the smart thing to do, and if you got the Uber app, you don't actually need the money, it charges to a credit card, right? It does, but it still comes out of my account, which, yes, but I'm a, I apologize, like... I mean, you had money to go out drinking tonight, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I don't plan on driving while intoxicated, but if I ever make such a stupid mistake and get pulled over, I hope it's by a polite cop like this. He's done his job perfectly, and a lot of that is because he had such a cooperative suspect, which is really rare to see these days. Placing you under arrest for the UI, need you to change the patch back for me. Do you have any valuables in the vehicle? No, sir. Nothing in there that we need to get out? I assume you'd like your cell phone, right? Do you have a cell phone? I do have a cell phone, sir. Okay, so we'll get the cell phone out. That's not too tight, is it? You've got very small wrists, so I have to... Trying to lock this almost all the way down. This will last. I'm going to double lock these, that way they won't tighten up on your phone. Just call me home. The time for calling an Uber has already passed. You should have done that before you got into the car and started driving, okay? Give me a second. Please. I live about 10 minutes away. Paige kept pleading with the officer to let her go, but her charms didn't work. She was taken to jail, and the breathalyzer test showed 0.172 and 0.185. That's over double the legal limit. It turns out Paige isn't so innocent after all. She pleaded no contest to a charge of reckless driving and got 12 months of probation. Her social media had lots of pictures of her going out during the probation period, but either she didn't drink and drive, or she just managed to not get caught. Thanks for joining me on yet another exploration of the world of crime and law enforcement. Tune in next time, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing.